Nearly 1,000 Broward County Elementary School students got a lesson today that was unlike anything they'd experienced before. They had a chance to try out an innovative education tool created by Google. CBS 4's Maribel Rodriguez was there as it brought learning to life. I was really excited to try some amazing new technology. And they should be for a good reason. The students from Nova Eisenhower Elementary, Nova Blanche Foreman Elementary, and Nova Middle School in Davie all dressed up for Google, who's taking them to the moon. We are on the moon. Oh my gosh. In the moon. Look, Rihanna, right now we're in the moon. Google is bringing augmented reality lessons into their classrooms, giving students the chance to see things like a swirling hurricane, hiding behind the moon, hugging the moon, and getting closer to the moon than they ever imagined. It's cool how you get to see the in-depth of the moon and everything. Like right in front of you? Yeah. It is right in my face. I saw a dark hole under it, too. It was very dark under there. I saw the moon, and I felt like Neil Armstrong. Google selected Broward County Public Schools to be a part of its Expeditions AR Pioneers program, allowing teachers to bring 3D objects to life using a cell phone and a high-tech program. We're connecting that learning to the technology that they're already connected to. And so it's not about, oh, I only use my phone for texting or I only use my phone for Googling something. Now Google is really working to enhance it, that learning for the students and for the teachers. An innovative idea giving learning a whole new dimension. It's amazing because I always wanted to see the moon, like an actual person. But that's just, it's just amazing to see it like that. Wow, how cool. So these schools in Broward County are the first and only schools participating in this pilot program. The Google rep will take the students' feedback with her to help development of the program. Google's goal is to have this program in thousands of schools across the country. In Davie, Maribel Rodriguez, CBS 4 News.